Guys, let's get on with some important learning lessons here that I picked up from Jim Wendler. And if you are new here and you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And make sure you get over to undergroundstrength.tv. Going to hook you up with a kick-ass training course for free. Got to stick to it. All about the commitment. And that's what this blog post is about. Lessons learned from Jim Wendler while at dinner. And I have to leave out, obviously, some names of... Uh, <laughs> Other non-independent coaches, I guess, because, hey, you know, we call people pussies and everybody cries about that stuff nowadays. So a couple things. Jim Wendler talking about everybody just doing way too many exercises. The strongest guys in the world are not doing millions and millions of variations of exercises. Yes, maybe they are doing it at Westside Barbell. But then he talks about what numbers they are already at. Ask what are they already benching when they get there, squatting when they get there. They're already strong. But for the people that aren't benching 300 plus pounds, squatting over 400, deadlifting over 500, too much variation and too much, you know, trying to sneak around the basics. Squat, bench, deadlift variations, overhead pressing, cleans, clean and press, clean and jerk. Right there, stick to it, live by it, and bleed under that barbell. Number two, <laughs> putting up some notes right here. Too many pussies out there. Everybody's afraid of the hard work, afraid of the commitment, making excuses, looking for the special supplement. How do you, uh, when do I take this supplement? Before my workout, after my workout? Am I resting too much? What's my rep speed? It's about hard work, commitment, dedication. I've been training for 25 years. Jim, I believe, has been training longer than that. The strongest guys in the world are, yes, they are detail-oriented, but they are mostly just committed to a fault. They won't veer. They stick to that program. And most people today are missing that stick to itiveness, meaning tell them that they have to squat for 12 weeks. Oh, I squatted last week. Can I leg press this week? Leg extension next week. Like I said, you must live, breathe, and bleed under that barbell. It's going to be the ticket. Third important lesson, train beyond the sport, the quote unquote sport specific demands. So if you're training a football player and you keep talking about every play is four to seven seconds, so every set we do is four to seven seconds, well, what about the football player that has to fight to earn his position by doing two- and three-day practices? If you train him for that perfect football game and the perfect environment, he will not be ready to battle on the practice field. And me, working with so many wrestlers, I'm training wrestlers to be able to battle and fight through the mentality required of they're going to be cutting weight, they're going to be sore, they're going to be tired, the season's going to be dragging on, they're going to be hungry. We're not just training for a six-minute match or a seven-minute match, whatever the time frame might be according to their age group. What we're training for is the mentality to be above and beyond what the norms are. So those are going to be the tickets. In a nutshell, what we're saying is, Stop trying to be too perfect and too scientific, and your training must build you into a bad motherfucker. That's the bottom line. No coach wants to see a kid who's going to quit during practice, no matter how perfectly trained he was under the Russian system. That doesn't matter. Once they see you quitting and dogging it, they're not going to want to put you in any form of any starting lineup, be it first, second string, varsity, JV. Zach Gavinesh here checking out from undergroundstrength.tv. Get there, subscribe, get hooked up with the free training course, and subscribe to our YouTube channels. Peace.